Hello students, now we will discuss about nematodes which are also termed as nemati helminthes or ascalminthes. So these are also called as ascalminthes or nematohelminthes. These infect both plants and animals. They infect both plants and animals. The type of nematode that infects plant is causing root knot in tobacco. Name of nematode is Meloidigine incognitia. Meloidigine incognitia. The type of nematode that infects animals. Name of nematode that infects animals is first one. Ascaris. Second one, ankylostoma, which is also called as hookworm. Ankylostoma. We will write the complete name that is duodenae. Later we will write the common names of these organisms also. Third one, ucararia. Bancrofti. So this is the nematode that causes infection like root knot in tobacco plants that is plants. So these are the three types of examples given in your NCRT which causes infections in animals. Actually there are many nematodes but according to a syllabus only three examples are mentioned. So nematodes are triploblastic and bilaterally symmetrical. Nematodes are pseudocelomates. They have their digestive system like a long tube-like structure. Their body is also long tube-like structure. So their body plan is said as tube within tube body plan. Digestive system is long tube-like And body also, we write total body. Long tube like. So, body plan is called as tube within tube body plan. <coughs> Body wall is covered by cuticle. Next, their innermost layer, which is inside just below the body wall, it is having longitudinal um, muscles, but there are no circular muscles. Inner body wall. Inner side to body wall has longitudinal muscles, but no circular muscles. Next, <clears throat> in case of nematodes, adult organism or adult parasite enters into the host. In case of ascaris, it enters into the human body in adult form. So, there are such types of parasites are, are called as, or such type of hosts, which give accommodation for adult organism, are called as definitive host. <coughs> man is called as, or man gives,
residence or place for survival of adult parasite or adult nematode that enters body host body so man is called as definitive host reproduction is by sexual method so nematodes show sexual dimorphism <clears throat> what is meant by sexual dimorphism we can easily identify the difference between male and female organisms means male and female organisms can be easily identified or differentiated this male nematode is small or it has a smaller body female nematode has longer body its posterior end is bent and has copulatory cct female nematode posterior end is straight if you see the diagrammatic representation of male asteris so it will be like posterior end is bent like this so here will be the copulatory cete and here will be the opening called as cloaca so this is copulatory cete that is present only in male asteris this is cloaca at the anterior position is <coughs> excretory pore here will be mouth now coming to female nematode its body is longer comparing to that of male nematode or male ascaris so here will be the excretory pore at anterior position here will be the mouth and here will be genital pore commonly we use a term common outlet for digestive system excretory system and a reproductive system is called cloaca but here this cloaca is of outlet of digestive system and a reproductive system only two are involved in ascaris now in case of female if you see there is no cloaca so female there is no cloaca so this is mouth now, internally to the male uh, nematode or male ascaris there is only one reproductive system only one reproductive system so called as monarchic but female ascaris has two reproductive systems so 
so called as didelphic or diarchic if you see what are those two reproductive systems means having two ovaries two oviducts and two uterus next infection is direct and it is by oral form in both the cases of male and female ascaris infection is direct and oral means by means or through mouth these are endoparasites and anaerobic in nature they are endoparasites and anaerobes coming to ascaris we have seen the diagrams ankylostoma duodenale and ucker area there are some terms development is is indirect it means there are there are some larval forms indirect means having larval forms <coughs> we see some terms ascaris is also called as round worm next its larval form is rabditi form larva so this is first second one ankylostoma <coughs> ankylostoma is also called as hookworm its larval form is again rabditi form larva next one third example given is ucker area it is also called as a round worm next its larval is larval form is microfilarial larva in case of this ucker area it causes infection called filariasis or elephantiasis since it leaves in the lymphatic vessels it is also called as bancroft's filariasis or commonly filariasis it is also termed as lymphatic filaria so it causes the sw most swelling of the legs so these are few examples regarding nematihelminthes that causes infection to plants and animals for plants is it is meloid again in cognitia for animals three examples some a uh, digestive system respiratory system since it is an endoparasite it absorbs directly nutrients and in case of female ascaris there is no cloaca this is about nematodes <coughs>